Now let's take some time to talk about your reference area and reference lengths for a VS Fiero run in OpenBSP. So we're using our pod plane example here. And notice that in the reference area and lengths box, we can choose to either manually set these values, say we could set them all to one, where you're only really normalizing by say the dynamic pressure, or you can choose to pick some other value that you want, say if you're perhaps matching an old study and you want to use the reference values that they used, you can manually type those in. You can also choose a component from the model. So in this case, you can choose any of the lifting or wing type components. If we choose the main wing here, you notice that the reference area, the span and the cord are all computed based on the parameters that are here in the plan form tab. So we've got an area of 24, our cord is two, and our reference span is 12. It's all right here. So with any of those, if you happen to have, say, um, multiple wings, if you have a canard, it will list these in the order of how they're placed in the model. So you see here in the geometry browser, we've got wing, horizontal, and vertical tail. If you have your model set up to where the tails are, in, are on a higher priority or a, a higher level than the main wing that you want, you may just click from model and do an analysis and accidentally have the wrong component selected here. So make sure you pick the reference wing that you want to use for these. But it's fairly straightforward on how to pick your reference area and reference lengths for a VSPRO run.